Hey everyone, Harrison Mixbus version 4.1 is out today. Uh, that comes in standard flavor or 32C flavor. So I've brought up just the standard flavor for us to have a look at some of the new features. Let's go and check them out. Hey everyone, so we are over in Mixbus and of course I'm using version 4.1. Um, I think this is a beta version, so yours might be slightly different. So it's 4.1.579 I'm on. Uh, but you know, the principles will be the same whether you're on any of the versions 4.1s that you are getting at the moment, uh, either in Mixbus standard flavor or 32C flavor, the the you know the principles are going to be the same. Um, I've got a list here of cool things, cool new features in Mixbus. Um, now there is a video about this first feature which Harrison uh, Consoles have, have put together and is way better than anything I'm going to say. Um, so check that video out on YouTube. It should be available by the time. You see this again. Big up to Ben and um, the rest of the Mixbus team because this seems like a really cool update. Um, the developing team have been working really hard. Great, great work. Okay, so um, what have we got? Well, we've got automation in VCA faders. So oh, you might be saying, "What are VCA faders?" If you've not used them, definitely have a go on them. Um, you just create a new track in the normal way: Command Shift N or however you would normally create a track and um, and then here you've got your VCA fader and you can move that up and down. Now I have um, just created the one there and I'm going to assign, you can name it if you want, I'm going to assign the um, guitar tracks here to VCA1. Now when I move this up and down, um, you see let's Let's zoom out here. When I move this up and down, you will you will see the faders move up and down with it. Great, excellent. Now that's all fantastic, but we need to automate it. So how do we automate it? Well, we have automation controls here. So I'm just going to go back to the start of my track here and show you the automation here we're going to go into uh, i just wanted to show you that close up so um now of course playback just like any fader. Now, what's cool about VCAs is that you can apply different VCAs to the same track. Um, so you can move the, or the same channel, I should say. So you can have multiple VCAs moving the same faders. And you can, I can make a change here, a relative change between these faders. Uh, you'll see that the automation remains intact but the actual relative fader moves um, change so let's turn spill off again and have a look at the next cool feature template manager contributed by Johannes Mueller um, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly sorry Johannes if I'm probably doing a really bad job of pronouncing your name um, anyway um, part of the the open source side of things um, uh, Johannes has developed this template management uh, window and obviously that's then come forward into and been contributed to Mixbus. Um, this is Johannes, this is his GitHub. Um, he's into Linux audio hacking, uh, making music and Linux audio hacking. Um, so every time I use this um, template manager, I'm gonna think of Johannes and his lovely smile. So where is this template manager? Well, it is up in the Windows dropdown or you can find it under templates. Now, what does it offer? Well, if I can get to it, come on. There we go. I've got this in full screen mode at the moment. Um, so uh, we can import and export session templates from within Mixbus, which is cool because to share session templates, you used to have to kind of go in and actually do it manually in the files. And also it seems that there will be track templates as well. Now that would be great for an album. Um, maybe you've got a specific backing vocal sound that you want and you want it on all the album tracks. 
If you're like me, you actually track your whole album onto one session file um, and then split it up for mixing. Uh, that's the way I like to work, as if it was just one big reel of tape. Um, and, you know, sometimes you might find a sound in mixing the first track and you want to continue that to the later tracks. Well, track templates are obviously going to help us with that. So that's cool. Um, we've got 176.4K in the dialog, export dialog. That's great. Oh, here's a cool thing. Enabling the non-layered button to work for MIDI recording. So if you do non-layered recording mode, um, then you, with MIDI, you would always just keep adding notes over the top of the notes that were already there. So the non-layered setup wasn't work, wasn't operational. Um, so you you know if you were doing if you wanted to change the section it would just you'd have to delete it out manually and then replay it whereas now you can have it in a mode where it will delete what is underneath uh listening to the master output while real time export oh automation lanes this is cool um so if we go over to um say the kick and we have a look at the fader automation on the kick and say bring up Oh, I don't know, the rhythm guitar and fader automation on the rhythm guitar. Now, this is a ridiculous example. It's not a practical example, but I'm just drawing in some automation. I'm going to choose the range control, copy it. Now, I'll select the track down here and paste it in. Um, obviously, it's pasted in, pasting in from my... Um, cursor i think i need to make some changes to the uh the preferences um on this setup but uh, you get the general gist that um you know you can copy and paste automation as desired so the summary the summary bar let's have a look for the summary bar so a few changes have been made now if you don't use the summary, it's really useful, actually. Um, and there's a few useful things that have been done. Uh, in terms of the zoom as well, a few cool things have been done with the zoom control. But um, the summary uh, now works more like a sort of um, a scroll bar. Um, so you can scroll left and right. You can also click and drag to move in and out. Um, and... Uh, uh, just use a scroll bar to zoom in and out so uh, yeah so that's kind of useful um, it's just the left and right positions and then for up and down movement you'll just scroll in the main window um, just little things just making your workflow you know if it saves you two seconds every time you do it or a second every time you do it and you do 100 times a session um, maybe four times a day if you're working on four different sessions in a day you start to add up these these slight reductions in uh, in difficulty and so on and it's all i think mixbus is all about that it's all about making the workflow easy in a, a thousand different places just to make you speed up so much faster and take out all of the all of the stuff that um gets in the way of actually working so uh when instantiating a, a track from a template the template name um use the template name for the new track not the name of the original track all, all these kinds of things um, when plugins are copied or pasted or dragged or dropped from one channel to another, they retain their order. Uh, VCA mute and solo buttons on, are bindable now to MIDI controls, which is cool. Um, slightly faster rendering of the waveforms. Now, I think I noticed um, an improvement in speed. I can't say whether I did or not when I was just testing this earlier on. So I'll run some more demanding sessions and see how that works. Um, yeah, just loads of really cool little fixes, MIDI source files being, um, you know, copies of original source files so changes don't propagate when you do snapshots. Um, yeah, just there's tons of changes and they're all really cool. Um, lots of fantastic stuff going on. Um, I could go on and on, but really the best thing to do is just to get Mixbus 4.1, either in 32C or standard flavor, and just have a play with it. As as usual, I think there'll be a free um, a free uh, demo on the website at Harrison Consoles. If you're interested in my uh, signature package, check out mixbundles.com. Um, yeah, I I hope 4.1 is going to be as as awesome as 4.0 was, and 
yeah, happy mixing, guys. I will uh, I'll see you next time.